Hey everyone! Um, sorry about the lighting. It's not as good as normal because it's nighttime here. Um, I just got out of work and I did some shopping in between work. I do like four hours or five or six and then have a few hours off and then go back again at nighttime. So I'm making this video at nighttime since I did my shopping this afternoon. Um, I'm a mess. I've been at work all day, so don't mind the appearance because it's not as good as it normally would be. But I wanted to share this stuff with you because um, <clears throat> some of it has just recently come out and some of it's on sale right now. So I know that you may be interested in that. So let's just get right into it. I went to Bath and Body Works today. I probably shouldn't have because it's probably one of my all-time favorite stores, but they're having their yellow, hold on, hello yellow sale, which it probably is just their holiday stuff on sale right now. I bought myself two of these because I like them so much. It's the wallflowers in the mint chocolate, and I have this candle, and I have it on a warmer. I don't know if you guys are familiar with candle warmers. It's just a plate like this and it warms right here. I just turned it on so it's not too hot yet, but you just set your candle on it. My boyfriend has a tendency of not turn, uh, blowing out a candle, you know. Now, it takes longer to go through a candle, but the fragrance comes out of it faster, so this isn't as potent as it used to be. But I love the mint chocolate scent, so I got two packages of these. These were 75% off of $12.50, so they were $3.12 a piece. So you cannot beat that at all. So here, oh no, I, I need to get two of these. I got two of a different scent. This was the last one of this. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I had to get that one. But I got two of this. It's the Twisted Peppermint. And this was $3.12 as well. My mother-in-law, or whatever you want to call her, my boyfriend's mom. I just call her my mother-in-law just because it's easier. She got me the body wash in the Twisted Peppermint, and I didn't think I'd really like it, but oh my god, I love it. It's very, it's pepperminty, obviously, but it has a sugary smell to it, too, like a really sweet smell. And it's nice for this time of year. Now, of course, with body wash, you don't really smell it on you after your shower for too long. I never do. I don't know if any of you guys do, but I definitely don't. So it goes away quite fast, but I figured I'd give, you know, why not? They can't be that bad, so I got the two of them for $3.12 a piece. You really cannot beat that when normally they're $12.50. And then I got this, which I should have put in my car, uh, car scent thing. It's in the Fresh Balm or whatever. I don't know how to say that. Balsam? Balsam, maybe? It just smells like a freaking tree, practically. Smell, I mean, it smells outdoorsy, and I like outdoorsy scents, but I like them in my vehicle. I'm not crazy about them in my home. Like, everybody was talking about that Christmas wreath or, I don't know, different candles and stuff this season. And I'm not crazy about those kinds. I don't know why, but I'm just not <laughs> simply stated. So, I'm going to put this in my car. It's one of the scent portables, and these are really nice. I'm a smoker. Not, I'm not saying that you should smoke. I'm not, you know, gl making it glamorous or whatever because I don't like that. Oh, there goes my phone, of course. Let's let it ring through. Um... <laughs> I hate when that happens when I'm making a video and I won't restart it because these are things that happen every day this is everyday life my phone rings my you know animal does something crazy the whole house is crazy so I don't restart a video when something like that happens it's just stupid but anyway this is for your car you clip it to your visor or whatever I think this was all of two dollars yeah two dollars and then I got this for my daughter's room, and I thought this was really cute because the, you guys have seen her room, I think. Yeah, I made a video in her room. Um, it has like owls, and it's all nature and whatever. But this was $2. It's one of the things that you put the wallflowers in. How cute is that? I love it, and I'm sure she'll love it too. And I like this. It's got, instead of the top being like the, the shade, lampshade type of deal, it's got that over top. So, I like this. It's cute. And that's all I got from there. And my total was $14. And you cannot beat that because one of those sets of wallflowers was $12.50 originally. So that's what I got. And then I'm going to save this. Oh, I'll show you guys this quick. I got this scarf. It's a big scarf. You know, I got it wrapped around my neck and then the tassel's hanging. Um, it's like a black and then gray and maroon or red. And it's supposed to be 100% cashmere made in Scotland or something. Hold on, let me look. So 
hello to my peeps in Scotland. Yeah, made in Scotland. It says 100% cashmere. It says dry cleaner hand wash. Now, it feels so soft. Like, oh my God, this is so soft. That's why I had to get it. I'm a big, big, big scarf junkie. So I love coats and scarves. That's my thing in the winter. I hate the winter, but I love coats and scarves. So I had to get it. It was $10. It wasn't bad at all. But if I don't really think it's 100% cashmere because they wouldn't have been selling it for $10 then. But I have a tendency to lose scarves too. And then I ran over to Kohl's, which is funny. Uh, I don't know if you know me, but yeah, I'm not going to get into that in YouTube. I'm not going to put myself out there. Um, but anyway, I bought myself a shirt and I don't normally buy clothes from there, but I saw this and it was on sale for $13. Yeah, that was a really good price. And it was really cute and it looked cute on. So it's a tunic style long sleeve black like sweater and you can see the ruching down the side and it has these stud details all the way in the bottom of the shirt. Clothes are really hard to show on camera. And then it has this scarf. It's one of the Eternity scarves. And it's gray and it has the little studding on there. But it's long sleeve and I can't really wear it yet. Um, I'm gonna have to, oh yeah, you can see a glimpse of my tattoo. This is not finished yet and it's very sore and I just got it yesterday so it definitely doesn't look as good as it's going to when it's finished, but that's that's the tattoo. But I can't wear long sleeves for a little while until that's healed up, unfortunately, because it just sticks to it. I don't know if any of you guys have tattoos, but you know when they're healing, it's like kind of scabby, unfortunately, and it sticks. So I have to wear short sleeves, whatever. And then I ran to Sephora, <clears throat> and I had bought the... Makeup Forever number 15, it's, no, number two, Makeup Forever number two. It's like a taupey, silvery, purpley, um, they're cream shadow things. I don't know what, oh, sorry guys, my nose itches. Um, I don't know exactly what they call them. Hold on, let's see if it's on the receipt, because I returned it. Um, Aqua Cream, and it says it was a number two steel, so that was the name. Um, I returned it because I got that originally, because... You know the one from MAC, um, Dangerous Curve, Cuve? It was sold out online and I really wanted that. So I bought this Makeup Forever one in place of it. It was $22. And, well, I guess I'll show you what I got from MAC first then. And it was in stock there, which online they had none. So I was super excited because I really wanted this one out of all of them. I already swatched it and everything. Let's see. I'll turn my setting quick so that you can get up Whoa, I lost you guys! Ah! Oh my! Man down! Man down! Oh my god! Hi! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> oh my god. What a mess. You guys are going to be dying laughing when you see that. Anyway, this is the color. Um, these new ones from this new, what is it, Champagne, are not opaque. They're more sparkly than anything. I'll swatch it. This is like a purpley, silvery. It's very hard to explain, but it is beautiful. Let me swatch this on my hand, and I can show you guys. Where is it? The lighting is so bad right now. I'm sorry. But it's like a purpley silver, um, and it'll go great under taupe shadows, like a taupe color. So, uh, yeah. I'm all frazzled still from that camera falling. It's like... It totally set me off. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. And I will not edit. I don't edit my videos. I find, excuse me, sorry, my pants are falling down. I find no point in editing videos because these are things that happen, right? Please tell me you agree with me because I think it's kind of stupid to have a video that's completely perfect because I'm far from perfect. I have so many flaws it's not even funny. So why would I go and make a video perfect, you know? I'm sure you guys all know that, I'm sure you guys have flaws. Everybody has flaws. That's just the way it is. It is what it is. So I got an eyeshadow from the new collection um, that I'd like to speak briefly about. It's called a Mega Metal Shadow. And I got the one in Prance. Now, um, I swatched a bunch. I'm not crazy about a lot of the colors. There, there's pinks, there's a deep like silverish purple, but it, I wasn't getting the payoff I wanted from it. So I didn't buy it. That I was originally going to buy that one and the one that I have in my hand. Prance, it's called. Yeah, Prance. Yeah, so um, I just got this one. And this one's a really close dupe to um, Grand Entrance. And these are larger than normal MAC shadows. So that's really cool. Um, it was 
$16.50, I want to say. Hold on, I'll give you guys prices. The paint pot was $16.50. Oh, this was $19.50. So it's, you know, quite a bit more, $5 more. But you get, let's see if it's on here. It should be on here somewhere. Oh, it's 3.4 grams in this pan. So I'll give it a swatch, and it really looks so much like Grand Entrance. See, my lighting's just awful right now, and I do apologize. This is the first time I'm swatching this, too. I, you know, obviously swatched the one in the store. Maybe when I get the video up on my computer, the lighting will actually look better than it does on here. But they're very pigmented, but I don't know what it was. It's the darkest color from the collection that I'm talking about. It's like a dark purple silver. I got no payoff from it whatsoever. So I was kind of disappointed in that because that was originally the color that I was most excited about when I had seen um, Temptalia put them up. But, you know, wh whatever. Um, these are limited edition shadows, so I suggest that if you want some, go get them. I really think that they could have done some more, and I know this is going to sound boring, more, you know, cool looking neutrals or like a cool tone taupe. There was no taupes in the collection. This one reminds me a lot of, let's see, a lot of Stila Kitten. Now watch, I'll take it out and it won't look anything like it. Stila Kitten is more pink. It's more of a pink based uh, shadow. This one's more of a, you know, true champagne. Hold on, I'm trying to get it out again. Um, Stila is, Stila Kitten, sorry, did I even say Stila Kitten? I don't even know, dude. I'm so tired, but anyway. Kittens on the end, and then, you know, the MAC one. So you can see, you know, slightly that it's more of a pinky, uh, this one. This one's more of a pinky, peachish um, champagne color, and this one is, it's pretty neutral, honestly, but it's very pretty and very pigmented, and I can see this as being a really good lid color, eye brightening, or inner corner, and then put something on the outside. So I'm pretty excited about that. I would have liked to get a few more of the shadows, but honestly, nothing else really grabbed my attention like the two that I, ooh, sorry guys, like the two that I originally went there for. So, you know, what can you do? Sorry, I'm moving my camera around because it's like about to fall again. All right, camera. See you guys. I'm having like fail video today. Maybe it busted from dropping it. My tripod. I got my tripod propped on my Makeup Forever set thing, and it's just... Oh, there we go. Maybe that's why, dumb dumb. It wasn't working right. Okay. So the next thing I got, I ran out of, and remember how I got that Murad? Um, what the hell was it called? Clarifying cleanser, the one that's like um, cleansing and toning in all in one. I really like that a whole lot. It really cleanses my face really good, and I'm liking the results I'm getting with it. But it dried my face out so bad, and I mean I'm dry around the nose. I'm dry in the chin. So I can only use that once in a while when I feel like I really need deep clean or at nighttime and use what I got at night uh, in the morning because it's more gentle of a cleanser. And that's just my good old <clears throat> Clinique rinse off foaming cleanser. And I have people telling me that this is um, still this makeup remover. And one of my close friends is a Clinique girl and I forgot to ask her today. We just got into talking about tattoos because she's all covered like I am. But um. She, uh, I should ask her next time I go in. She's an awesome chick, but, uh, yeah, this is, when in doubt, I always go back to this because this never fails me. It, it doesn't irritate my skin. It cleanses my skin good. Uh, and there's nothing in it, really. There's not, like, salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, and those really tend to dry me out and irritate my skin bad. So when in doubt, this always works for me whether it's a makeup remover or not. I don't use it as a makeup remover. I remove my makeup first, put some of this in my Clarisonic, and this foams to holy hell. You only need like a pea size amount. So one of these literally lasts me probably six months or longer. Yeah, so it's nice. But uh, so what do you guys think about the new collections coming out from MAC? Um, I check out a lot of them. I'm really a big fan of these new, what were they called, liquid lipsticks or whatever. I really like the second to light pinkest or maybe the lightest pink. I, I believe I'm going to go back and get one of those, but they're $19.50 as well. Mac's really hiking up their prices, and I'm not thrilled about it. Um, I understand, you know, bigger product, more money, but um, you get a little bit more product in the lip liquid lipsticks, I guess they're called, than you do a regular lip gloss. So I can understand that, but it's not like a massive amount more to charge $5 more for so, um, I also asked about why the cream blushes are going away, because Lady Blush, Cream Blush, all the cream blushes, they're all in the bye-bye section of MAC Online. 
So what she told me is um, they take out the old and bring in something new. So practically what's going on is they're taking away that, but they're also going to bring back something that may be better of that kind. So they may be bringing out a new cream blush that's amazing, you know. So anyways, I think that's all I got, you guys. I did pretty good today. I didn't go too crazy. So I have a lot going on. got the tattoo. That cost me money, um, you know. All that kind of stuff. I go to get it finished on the 20th, so I have two weeks of healing, and then I gotta go through all the bullshit again of the healing, which always sucks. Healing is never fun, whether it's a piercing or a tattoo. And I keep on getting questions about um, a tattoo video. I will do one. I just don't want to show my pieces when they're like half done. I it, uh, I flashed it, so I knew I would get 100 questions about it, so I figured I'd just show it. But, um, you know, I... I my whole arm is pretty much half done, and I am not a half done person. I have to have everything fully done to the best of my ability, practically. So I want to show you guys when it's finished. I got like three more things to do, and then I will do a tattoo video, I promise. Cross my heart. So I'm going to go because I'm going to enjoy my time before I have to go to bed and get back up and go to work. I hope you all have a great, phenomenal, wonderful, amazing weekend, and I will see you guys soon. And I will be doing my elf video, and there's a lot of drama behind that, so stay tuned for that. All right, everybody, see you later. Bye.